Hello guys, uh, happy days. Uh, this is uh, Ranger Rangers. So I'm here right now in Sunderland. Anyway, it is Friday and it's about one o'clock this afternoon. Later there is a there's a live concert somewhere there, and hopefully I can stay here until five because I think their uh, events on their um, concert maybe it will start five o'clock. So okay, so we look around, have a look uh, what we can see in the uh, military. Hello, um, this is one of the uh, aircraft of the uh, Royal Air Force. over here Guys, um, this aircraft they said that uh, they call that Chonok. Yeah, this Chonok. I don't know what I like to spell that, but uh, that's what I heard uh, from the one of the uh, staff in here. Chonok. Your Air Force, Air, all, yes. all Air Force, there's no Army? There's Navy and Army, Navy in here. down that way, uh, further down. But, yeah, we don't Are you joining before in the, in the uh, artillery? Alright, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was two years ago. So I stopped now. Yeah. I, just I don't know. Yeah. I had too much uh, running. <laughs> I hate running. <laughs> Join the Air Force, we don't run. Yeah. We drive everywhere. Since I got a, a, a motorbike accident, so I stopped. I quit. Downgraded. I've, been, I've been here for two years. Uh, now, but, uh, is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be uh, a civilian, you know, just like uh, you know, do what you want when you want. Want, yeah. <laughs> Not what you're told. Yeah. When you're told. Right. Right. So there's no any uh, air show. Uh, no, the planes are flying in tomorrow. Ah, so there's no any uh, today. No, only Saturday, Sunday. So today's just the ground show. There's a big fireworks display later. Ah, so we just and wait until the to singers are going to be on at ten o'clock yeah. or till ten o'clock. Okay. So, but there is a live show later for just like um, uh, a, a band or yeah, a band. So, Scout bands. for Girls and Sophie Ellis Baxter. What time is that? Uh, oh, I haven't got. I think it's about seven ish. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know why there's no aircraft today because you know um, tomorrow it will be raining. Uh, yeah. It'll be rain. Uh, you might get a couple. So I'm to come across and practice yeah. today. But the non plan till tomorrow, Saturday okay. and Sunday, so it's just been two sure. days. So that's why I, I just come over here because I know that tomorrow the would uh, fly. Yeah, we fly. still have to be here, yeah. getting wet. Oh, sure. yeah. so that's why I just grabbed today the opportunity because it's just the weather today is a bit sunny. Okay. Yeah. Okay, today. All right. okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. No problem, mate. Have right. a good day. All right. Busy for catering?
enjoy this beach. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at the lighthouse over there. It's nice for fishing because uh, in our in my place in North Shields so we do fishing as well in this cave or in the uh, lights. The weather is beautiful today. It's sunny. Sunny, sunny. If you don't mind, if, if you can move down this way just to fill the slots, we can gain an inch here and there, we could get an extra bow on our seat. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. 
Now we all will get started. Well, good afternoon, everybody. You had a good day so far? Yeah. You excited about what's to come? Yeah. You here for the whole t till tonight? I know that the I think the fly-in starts about three o'clock there. No, not three o'clock. It starts about six o'clock. Fingers crossed the Lancaster bomber comes across. It's my favourite aircraft. Uh, have anybody been in one of these before, though? Anybody? You, did you? Have you said that you've been in one? Yeah. Pilot? Yeah. <laughs> in, in the forces, yeah. Army or Air Force? Yeah, you'll notice that this one's the, the Gucci version, if you like. It's very clean. Uh, it smells much better as well. <laughs> Does anybody know what it's called? A what, sorry? Anybody else? Yeah. Chinook. Chinook. Or Chinook. Depends where you come from in the country. I tend to travel a lot down south, so it's Chinook down there. But when you come to the northeast, it's a proper Chinook. Depends where you are. Uh, that's the Native American word for wind. You ever get the chance to stand under the rotor blades of one of these, you'll understand why they call this aircraft wind. The downwash is 80 to 100 miles an hour. You have to pretty much fight against the wind to get on the back of a Chinook helicopter. It has been around for a very long time, this aircraft. People do not realise that it was it first took flight in 1961. So the aircraft is 58 years old now and there isn't a replacement for it. It is going to be with the Royal Air Force for the foreseeable future because we have just bought four more they're quite expensive as well i'll go through that in just a moment so you're looking at the aircraft doing possibly a hundred year service it's, it's the only aircraft that's lined up to do a hundred year service as well i'd like to see that in my lifetime what a legacy it would be for chinook now these get used all over the world we um we can strip them down put them inside of a big aircraft called the c-17 globemaster we will fly them to foreign countries it takes about two days to put them back together and that's how we transport them around the world as well we're not a fighting vehicle, although we do and can carry weapons. But don't worry, when you see them flying across your house, um, we haven't got guns. You don't need them in this country. The only time that would really have something like that would be medical evacuations. Uh, we do have a Dillon minigun. The gentleman just at the, the front there is modelling the M134 electric minigun. That gun fires 2,500 bullets per minute, and we have two of them, so there's one on either side. We'll also have an M60 mounted on the back. This is just for our close protection. We only carry one minute's worth of ammunition. That one minute is our window of opportunity to leave. Now, in a medical evacuation scenario, where you're sitting right now will be transformed into a hospital. We will lift the seats. You'd have 24 hospital stretches in here with full medical crew. The usual people that fly the aircraft, it takes four people to fly this aircraft. And you'll also have your ground support team as well. And you wouldn't think, Chinook being the size that it is, it is the fastest military helicopter at 197 miles an hour. We've tried to break the 200 miles an hour uh, uh, barrier by rocking back and forward on the Chinook, but you just can't quite get it over 200 miles an hour. Now, we are a heavy lifting aircraft. If you look at the diagrams, the video diagrams, you can see that it has two things that look like rockets just at the back. They are the Lai Corman turbine engines, together combined generate roughly about seven to eight thousand horsepower we can fly with one engine but because we have two gives it the strength that chinook's fam famous for the power itself comes down gets sent to the middle sent down a rotor shaft and then goes straight up the rotor blades are mechanically sunk together so they can't actually hit each other people always ask the question why do they why don't they strike each other mechanically they can't there's five gear boxes in here as well how much do you think a Chinook's worth? We can't afford for them blades to knock together. The reason why is one blade is £250,000 and there's six. There's 1.5 million before you've even reached the screws to screw into the aircraft. How much do you think a Chinook's worth? Wild guess? 100 million? That's Donald Trump terribly. That's going to have the hot tub in the back and <laughs> the mini bar and whatnot. We've got a mini bar standard. Actually, JJ, I'm not doing it now. <laughs> Always. 30 million? I tell you, who said that? That is bang on. You do your research. It's pretty much, it's 35 million. If you are in a medical evacuation helicopter, it's going to be 50 million by the time we've got all the equipment in there. So 35 to 50 million pound. So what you're sitting in right now is not a full size real Chinook. The reason why we haven't brought the real Chinook here is because they are 35 million pounds. We are using them as well. So what you're sitting in is a model. 
very slightly smaller than the uh, real Chinooks. It's very, very slightly smaller. Obviously, we don't have TVs. We certainly don't have a massive flat screen in the back. We don't. That's not where the taxpayers' money's being spent. <laughs> Behind there should be another 10 foot of space. You're looking at about 35 people on here. You'd get 55 sat down on the real thing. That's quite a lot of people. It all boils down to weight. It can lift just shy of 12 tons. Two elephants, six cars. Quite a lot of weight. It's an absolute beast of a helicopter, this one. So would you buy one? Yeah. Yeah? If you want to see the real thing, get a really good job. 35 million pounds achievable. Really nice bank manager. And then you'd obviously have the task to try and learn how to fly it as well. Um, or if you, the other option is to come and see myself and AJ. Uh, we'll get you to sign this contract just here and we'll give you a Chinook for free. If that's all right, anybody interested? Yeah. <laughs> Looking for the future pilots. <laughs> no, it's right though, if you do join the Royal Air Force within four years, you could be flying Chinook helicopters. A little bit of maths, a little bit of science, and you just have to have the right character, that's all. Anybody want to fly these? Anybody want to be a pilot of Chinook? So we want pet revived now. <laughs> We've got one on the back. I'll get you to sign the contract again. <laughs> uh, well, literally, that's that much information I can give you about Chinook helicopters. If you have any questions, please do uh, come and talk to us. Myself and AJ, we're here all day. Um, the air shows the same. I mean, there's be bits and bobs happening all over the place. But definitely make sure that you visit the different tents. There's a lot going on. Uh, you can get stickers and badges and all sorts of different things as well. And ask them uh, where they come from within the Royal Air Force. They volunteered to come down to talk to you, so please go and talk to them. That's one of the main things. And more importantly, have a really good day. I'm sure you that you will. And uh, thank you very much for coming on board. Just say if you've got any questions, come and come and talk to us. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's finished, so that's right, that's very expensive kind of aircraft, it's about 35 million pounds, look at that price, it's very very expensive, so okay. hopefully guys you are enjoy watching and have a nice day, it started to rain now, okay see you in my next vlog. Bye and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.